I'm Darren Chandler, mental game coach for Loyalty Rateback. I've been a personal poker player for 8 years, a mental game coach for 5 years, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you all about the adult learning model. But first, why do you even want to bother with mental game? If your confidence is at an all-time high, if you're crushing the games day after day, if your results are just absolutely fantastic, then just stick with it and keep putting in those hours. But if you're finding that the results aren't just happening, that you're getting frustrated, that you're getting tilted, well then now's the time for you to set aside a few hours uh, of the day or the week and put some energy into your mental game. And definitely, if you're horribly tilted and extremely frustrated with your game, take a day off, take a week off and use those hours to recover and also to go through the material. In today's video, we're going to be learning about the adult learning model. These are four stages that every adult has to pass through in order to learn a new habit or skill set. We're going to find out how it applies to poker in general and then how it is customized to your game. Stage 1. Unconscious incompetence. This is when you're completely unaware of the skill or habit that you want to learn. You're completely in the dark. You don't know about it. It doesn't bother you. This is kind of like a baby or a small child that doesn't even know what shoes are. They don't know how to tie laces and they couldn't care less. They could just stick a big toe in their mouth. Stage 2. Conscious incompetence. This is when the frustration and sadness and possibly anger first starts because you become aware of the skills that you don't have, that others have, that you want. Unfortunately, how do you go from there? You don't have the knowledge and you don't know how to get to where you want to be. This is kind of like a child for the first time understanding that other people are wearing shoes and they're seeing their parents or friends tying shoelaces but they don't know how to do it themselves. Stage 3. Conscious competence. This is when you've taken the time to read a book, to gain knowledge, to research on the internet. Maybe you've approached a mentor. you found some way to assist you to learn more about the skill or habit you want to achieve. You now have a path or a goal in mind. This is a lot like a parent helping you with, by telling you a story about tying your shoelace. Now you have something to guide you every single day to help you get your shoes on. Stage 4. Unconscious competence. This is when you've mastered the habits or skill set. It's effortless. You don't even have to think about it anymore. This is a lot like when you've tied your shoelace a hundred times. It's so easy. You don't even have to think about it. You can watch TV, chat to your friends, your shoes are on and you're out the door. Let's take those four stages and put it into an XY graph. We'll have concentration or awareness on the y-axis and effort or energy on the x-axis. Now let's place each of the stages in their correct positions. What do we see? Well, when linking the dots, we form a normal distribution. And what's happening in the graph? Well, there's a bulk of energy happening in that conscious stage, the place where you're doing the most learning. And also what's happening is that's where the most energy and emotion is. That's where the frustration, the sadness and the anger is happening. It also means that the passion can help you get through that learning phase. And right at the end, where we have mastery over the skill or habits, this is the free flow, flow state or A game. That's when it doesn't even feel like you're doing anything anymore. It's just happening out of habit. So where do your poker skills lie on this graph? Which of them are in the mastery phase, the learning phase, the frustration, sadness, anger phase? Which of the skills do you feel you don't even know yet that are blind spots in your game? Enhance your awareness and start uncovering which skills that you need to have, you want to have and the ones that you're working on. And now for the big thing, make tilt your bitch. Use tilt as a way to identify those skills in your poker game that are just not quite there yet. When you're getting frustrated in a certain position, use that as a signal to identify where you need to improve. Today's homework assignment. The next time you sit down at your session, I want you to take some notes. Whenever you start tilting, write down your actions, behaviors, and your emotions. 
This is important so that we can find out exactly where you are in the adult learning model. Which skill sets have you developed to mastery, to the conscious competence? Which ones are just in a frustrated stage and you're not learning anything? We're going to find out with you by taking down those notes. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, post them below. If you want to contact me personally, here are the contact details. And of course, keep crushing the poker games.